the rating then. We get 1177 in our first game as black. Let's see, ooh, from Turkey, that's a cool country. I guess I'll go for e5, this is an opening I want to learn. So very often I play it in blitz games to experiment with it. I've read a book on this opening, so I remember some moves. Yes, this is uh, one of the possible gambits. It's not too stupid, but uh, if black plays correctly, black gets a small advantage here. F4 is the move in this position, though bishop g5 is also possible. Though f4 is uh, the better move order, then you take on e5 and go bishop g5. And here queen e7 is the correct move after bishop e6, knight a3 actually gives white a solid advantage. Uh, perhaps we will analyze that in greater detail after the game. But queen e7 is the main move. And here I remember rook g8 at some point with the idea that after the bishop takes an f6, the rook will be on an open g file. But uh, here I maybe should restudy this because I don't remember it that well. I think you go bishop d7 in this position. Or was it rook g8? I don't remember. Let's go rook g8. I don't see the problem with this move. Knight b5, then I can take and go c6. Bishop takes f6, pawn takes f6, and my rook is well placed on g8. So I don't see why rook g8 would be a bad move here. Hey, George Hua, welcome to the stream, man. I hope you're loving it. Welcome, man, welcome. A queen e1, this is an interesting move. I think I'll go bishop e6 now. I'm not so afraid uh, of the ideas that apply after bishop e6 right away because now I would have ideas of knight takes c2 at some point as well. I wonder if after c3 I can play knight c2. It's very well possible that I can. Wouldn't surprise me at all. Ooh, you missed the tactic. He's watching this game. Cool, I hope he's loving it. I hope he's learning a thing or two. Yeah, I mean, in these positions, it's white well, it has to be kind of careful to prove compensation because uh, how will white prove compensation here? An idea is obviously to take on f6, and then my pawn on f6 is incredibly weak, but yeah, here I was thinking if knight c2 was possible or not. And I think it is possible, to be honest. Also, if bishop takes c4 and then knight c2, maybe that is even better. Yeah, I don't see the problem with it, because it wins material if there's no problem. We also have ideas of queen c5, I guess, which is also a good idea to have in mind. Which would be a fork on the knight and on the king. I guess I will take the rook on a1. I don't see why I shouldn't be taking it. My motto is uh, pawns are to be taken, after all. And if it's a rook, then why not? I can castle here. I can throw in queen c5, knight e3. Is there any benefit to this? Yeah, because then I have the move h6, I think, which wins material. Uh, let's play it, then. I think queen c5 wins material. Because after knight e3, I am ready to play h6. And if bishop takes f6, I have the in-between move, queen takes e3. And I suspect that the bishop on g5 is simply trapped. Hey, George, what? Those are some nice emoticons. These are some nice emoticons for sure. Hopefully the stream isn't lagging because it looks as if it is lagging slightly. And my opponent resigns. Let's have a quick look at the game, guys. Because uh, I think my opponent must have done something wrong here. And I'm also curious if rook g8 was the correct move or not in the opening. Yes, this is a very possible uh, gambit by white, but it's considered slightly dubious, I think. Knight a3 is one of the moves you can play, and here bishop e6 was wrong. Why was it again? I need to remember. There was some way white could get an advantage here. Ah, I think this white has a lot of play in this position, because uh, white is able to put pressure on f6. So bishop e6, I remember, even though it's a very natural move, exchanging off the bishops when white has the bishop pair. Yeah, indeed, Matistrik, hello everyone and welcome to this video for sure. 
Uh, bishop d7 is the move according to the computer. I guess rook g8 was the move in another position. And it seems as if the computer absolutely hates it, but it's on a very low depth, so it's not very reliable, to be honest. I don't think rook g8 is a particularly bad move either, because it makes uh, quite a bit of sense, as after the bishop will take on f6, then the g file will be open. And then the rook will be better placed on g8 than on h8. Even though at the moment the rook looks a bit pathetic on g8. My opponent went queen e1, which is a very strange move. I didn't see a reason for why this should be played. And here I think bishop e6 is possible because white doesn't have ideas of queen uh, uh, f3. And I wonder if queen f2, if I could simply take on e4. Yeah, I can, I guess. And after c3, I think I just end up winning some material. Then my opponent is suddenly down a lot of material. As after knight takes a1, rook takes a1, a map a pawn and an exchange. And it even turns out that I had a tactical resource here, queen c5. As after knight e3, h6, my opponent's bishop is trapped. And if he takes on f6, then I will take on e3. The king will move, or queen f2, and I will take on f6 and be an entire rook up. Alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed this very short stream, and I'll have a longer stream later on in the...